All right, so a bunch of you have asked me, and quite rightly, um, about how to structure your paper, uh, your, your answer on the content assignment. And I probably went a little overboard, you know, with, uh, oh, you could do this in serial and parallel and all that. Um, for folks that like to operate off of like a really clean outline from the very beginning, if that's how you roll, that maybe works for you. Um, that actually isn't how I think, that's not how my brain works and that's not how I write. And it took me a long time to get over the, you know, they drill into you, like make an outline and then do everything. Um, and that's just never worked for me. I always have to work more organically. So I'm gonna give you a little bit different advice and if this works for you, please take it. If it doesn't, please ignore it. Um, we all have very different brains. We all work in different ways, think in different ways. All of us can do equally good work. We just have to figure out the way that works for you. So with that in mind, I just want to give you some advice about how to start out on this. And my advice here is to not worry about structure and not worry about the finished product at all. Start by just worrying about what you need to do to get to that. So what I would do is I would create a file or a piece of paper if you're old school and just write out um, sort of like section headings, the things that you're going to need to do. So you know that you're going to need to uh, do a little bit about uh, talking about what autonomy is. You're going to need to give two, at least two examples, right? Uh, it's better to just give two, make them really good, make them really clean and clear, and rather than just throwing a whole bunch of stuff at the wall. So then you'd uh, put in some, you know, put a bunch of spaces in between, right? Examples, then you'd have the example of uh, what crisp weirdly calls puffery, and the example of repetitive uh, advertising. Um, so whatever your choice is, I, you know, you might think of one example, um, like the, the Tide car in, you know, like sort of NASCAR car sponsorship, right? You know, the cars go around a gazillion times. And so that means when you're watching the race, every few seconds you're seeing Tide, 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 or whatever you want, just spell it out, okay? So next thing you're gonna need to do is talk about the two main arguments that I want you to focus on. So the, I want you to focus on the, um, the arguments that, uh, sorry, that's autonomous, what is it, uh, choices, and you're gonna need to wanna do two different things, right? The puffery, and then the extension to the, uh, the repetitive ads. And again, you're just making a, um, it's not even an outline really, you just wanna put a bunch of spaces in between here, I just don't have enough you know, room to fully illustrate. Uh, and then you're going to want to do another spot for the rational, uh, the rational choice stuff. Uh, again, just make a heading for the puffery, another heading for uh, the repetitive. And you'll probably want to, just as a reminder at the very bottom, because I do want you to think about some of the differences between the two cases, and you'll actually probably not end up using this because you'll probably just end up talking about the differences when you're talking about these, but just put it there as a reminder, you know, for now. Okay, so then what you do, um, you can do this obviously in any way you want, but my suggestion would be to start with the easy stuff. So you're gonna need a little paragraph here where you just say in your own words, here's what autonomy is, here's why we care about it, you know, because again, Part of the argument is, or the entire argument is going to be that um, persuasive advertising can undermine your autonomy in several ways. And so we need to know what autonomy is to know why we care about it. So that's your paragraph here. It doesn't have to be super long. Just make sure you say what it is, give an example, and make sure it's clear why it's going to be a bad thing if we fuck it. Sorry, if we mess with this stuff. Shouldn't curse on YouTube videos. All right, so you do that first, right? And the reason why I suggest doing it first is just to get it straight in your head because, you know, it's kind of like loading that into your brain so that you kind of have something to work off of. Um, similarly, you probably want to, you know, just figure out what example you're going to use. You don't have to like fully flesh this out. Just like write it out. Like if you're doing the, you know, the Carl's Jr. or whatever, or Gresham formula, whatever the, that was, um, you could just write it down or you could start to write out some of the details. Uh, you're going to want to write some details. Um, but, you know, you just want to sort of spell it out like you just want to give yourself something to work off. Okay, so once you've got that, then what you want to do 
is just start by, um, you know, something like outlining. You don't have to full on make a, a outline. You just want to get stuff out of your brain and onto the page, whether it's paper or electronic, doesn't matter. You just want to not, you know, sort of try to get everything set in your head before you start moving your fingers. Some people that works for it, that totally does not work for me. If I do that, I will sit there staring at the page forever and never do anything. And at some point I'll panic, start writing, and that's when it all happens. So if you can avoid the panic stage, that's good. Um, if panic's necessary, well, you know, lean into it. All right, so just start writing out what you think um, Chris is saying about the puffery case, right? You can just do this in sentences, fragments, kind of an outline, doesn't matter. You're just trying to get stuff out there and get it in the right spot. Once you think you got that, don't even worry about this. Do it for the um, the puffery case in the rational choice because this is what you know, you know, this is what you have to work off of in the paper. What I'm asking you to do in the paper is then to, once you've got this stuff sorted out, figure out how that's going to work for repetitive advertising. And this is the part where, you know, if you've done this, this will actually be pretty easy because it's just kind of like saying, okay, well, here's these considerations about this. Uh, do those apply to this? So I don't know at what stage you would want to move into working on this. You know, maybe for you, like you start working on this and you get really into it and, you know, you start off by outlining, but boom, you've got yourself like a full on, you know, there's your paragraphs and you're basically ready to go. Well, why, you know, if that's what, how it's working out for you, don't jump onto this, you know, stick with it. You're, you're rolling on this front, don't shift gears. Um, you know, you're gonna come back to all this again because you're leaving yourself enough time, right? Um, don't shift gears, just stick with this and just start being like, okay, well I said, you know, here there was like one, two, three, like considerations. By the way, I'm not giving you actual advice on, you know, how many things there are, I'm just giving you kind of a general idea. So don't be like, what's the third thing? Uh, I don't even remember right now which if there's a third thing. So then what you do is be like, okay, so there's three things here and you go, does one work here? Does two work here? And does three work here? And like I said, you know, you probably don't even need this differences like as a separate thing because as you do that, you're going to be like, well, you know, this one does, that one, eh, I don't know, that one not at all. You know, that's how it's going to work out once you've got this sorted out. So if it worked out like that, you know, that you just, everything was cool here, then you did this, then move on here, or if you're just kind of jumping around, that's cool too, whatever works for you. So again, here you've got, you know, your, your say there's two things here. Um, and as you, you know, once you think you're kind of clear enough on this, um, then you start writing this. You go, okay, well, does one work? Does number two work? And it's, the way I'm suggesting doing this is like the opposite of probably the way you've been taught to do these things. It's really just, throw stuff on the page and trust your, you know, sort of future editing stuff self to like sort it out, right? I'm not, don't like be precious about what words you use. Just get it out of your head and then, you know, sort of edit later. Again, this is the way it works for me. It definitely may not work this way for you. I'm assuming the fact that I was never taught to work this way means that it does not work this way for other people. So if that's not what works for you, do what works for you. But again, just get it out on the page get things in the right spots and only once it's starting to look like you know you've got these things figured out and they're looking like paragraphs only at that point do you want to like you know decide about the structure of the paper like okay so do i really want to keep it like this and be like do i want to go autonomous choice here's this here's this rational choice here's this here's this or do you want to go you know that was the what i think i called in my instructions the parallel way of doing it all right, sorry, the serial way of doing it, the parallel way of doing it would be, wait, can't even remember which one I did. The other way of doing it, sorry. Uh, the other way of doing it is, you know, you would be like, okay, well, so here's this, here's this, here's this, here's this. And then we go, okay, here's this and here's this. It's just, that's going to fall out of how you write it. You know, it's just going to make more sense. Like, oh, if I did it this one way, I'm going to have to write all this extra filler stuff and nobody likes filler, so don't do it. Do it the other way. If it flows naturally this way, fine. But the point is, don't worry about structure. Don't worry about, you know, where you're going. Just start off with here, you know, kind of making yourself some slots to put stuff, 
because that's the stuff you need to you know you need to do and that will be helpful because you know you won't be forgetting stuff and then just start tossing stuff in there just random stuff don't put it in sent in you know paragraphs don't worry about writing sentences that are clear and clean that's for later just get it out there you know t put it under the right headings and once you you know as you do that then just start out kind of organically start filling it in start making those you know sentence fragments look like a paragraph because as you do that you're going to start asking yourself questions you're going to be like well does this really fit does that really fit and that's how you'll kind of figure out what to do okay so hopefully this makes some sense um again like i've said several times now but i want to just say it one more time if this does not work is not how your brain works if you're like i need to write out my outline I need to have every paragraph perfect before I move on to the next one. If that's how you roll, I'm seriously, I'm envious because I wish I, my thinking was that organized, but it's not. So I just have to lean into the way that I do it. Okay. So this is kind of the, what works for me might not work for you, but hope it helps.